Do you believe that the BJP would be able to keep him and his flock happy in uh, these uh, elections? Uh, do you see some changes? Do you see, if I am not jumping the gun here, Jyotirandit is Sindhya returning to the state, returning to Madhya Pradesh? No, see, what happened is that last time in Gwalior Chambal, the BJP suffered a rout. Hmm. So, and and uh, most of the MLAs which came with Sindhya did win the elections, 19 out of 29, sort of. However, right. this time, as per surveys, if you see the surveys across surveys, the BJP is still particularly not doing well in the Gwalior Chambal region, as per see yes, the surveys. So yeah, so it means that the or rather it puts the effectiveness of this India camp into question. And that okay. will be uh, uh, analyzed post the results. Because okay. Congress has made it a Sindhya versus the real Congress issue in Gwalior Chambal. So if the Congress mm -hmm. is able to still hold on to Gwalior Chambal, then the efficacy mm -hmm. of Sindhya will be questioned in the BJP. And that would lead to either a better benefits or a, an improvement in stature for Sindhya or a decline mm -hmm. in stature for Sindhya depending upon right. how this state goes because Sindhya did not contest. It was rumored to contest. Yes, yes, but yes. Even yes. From a not, yeah. Traditional seat of Shivpuri, uh, he has not contested because the local candidate there is fairly strong and Sindhya has lost a Lok Sabha election. He might not have wanted to risk a loss in a Vidhan yes. Sabha election <laughs> because that would have significantly loss of very correct. Absolutely. So, so all these things are in place, so we'll have to see how the results pan out. It's too early. December 3rd is uh, still far away. We are just, uh, uh, what, one and a half hours into the voting. But what does it look like? Any writing on the wall situation from your perspective? See, it is actually, if you ask me any other state, I would say. But this state is actually a Kante Ki Takkar state. Kante Ki Takkar. Bilkul sahi kaya hai. On all the 230 seats, it's a seat-by-seat -seat contest. 36 mm -hmm. rebels of BJP. 39 rebels of Congress, the BSP and the SP are also flexing their muscles in yes, the Gwalior yes. Chambal, Bundelkhand and the Vind region. I don't know, I'm, I've never seen Akhilesh Yadav having so many rallies in a state other than other than uh, uh, UP. Both but but, but yeah. conceptually, conceptually the viewers have to understand that mm. if a contest becomes a seat by seat contest, then it is very difficult for a ruling party. A ruling party always desires to have a statewide, nationwide face contest, mm -hmm. not a local seat by seat contest, because then it is very difficult to control the narrative. So, a seat by seat Absolutely. is difficult for the government always. However, there are strengths and weaknesses in both. Shivraj is the strength yeah. as well as weakness. Mm -hmm. Because Shivraj. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And similarly, Kamalnath is the strength because he has the resources and the organizational capability. But he has the weakness mm -hmm. because he's not a mass leader. He's not young. And hasn't been in power for too long and for, yes, you know, uh, in the past. The he has been out of the state. Chindwara has right. developed an, an a model, but that model has to be replicated elsewhere. And so it's a lot about True. the local candidates holding sway in their particular mm -hmm. regions. And the BJP realized this very early and has Absolutely. opted for a 